YouTube world, my name is Nicholas Montez, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicholas Montez. Welcome back to another YouTube channel video, everybody. I'm so excited to have y'all back here together again. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing a new HBO Max original film called 8-Bit Christmas, which is basically like the first Christmas movie of the month. Um, well, actually the start of the Christmas movie season of 2021. Um, so without further ado, let's start reviewing 8-Bit Christmas. about this movie i just thought it was a very light-hearted and just very funny film where it creates this story with neil patrick harris where he basically tells his daughter about this time in the late 80s when he wanted a nintendo because they set up this joke in the film where the daughter wants a phone but he doesn't want that and he tells a story about this time where he had actually had where he wanted a nintendo much badly like his daughter wanted a phone and I think they kind of use that concept in a very interesting way because you have all these different scenarios going on. Of course, the cast is pretty good. You've got the kid that, that was in Nightbooks as well as Timmy Failure Mistakes Were Made, uh, which I thought was, he, he was actually pretty good, especially when he stood up to that bully. I thought that was amazing. You also bring back the dad that was in on um, Diary of a Kid um, dog days which i also thought this was a pretty funny role and once again sounds like owen wilson i don't know i don't i wonder if they're related they have to be because he just sounds so much like owen wilson um but i also just thought that there was just a lot of, i also just thought the humor worked really well there was just a lot of humor bits i can't really name one specific one i liked but there was just a lot of funny bits happening throughout the mix and some of the characters, you kind of learn something. And I think that's a pretty good achievement for this film. With that said, let's move on to the bad now. And honestly, for the bad on this film, I can definitely say that this movie feels like it's going for every single thing. And while it does feel like an 80s movie, it just feels like that they're, that they're doing too much. They're basically explaining every story bit to you and that you can't really guess it for yourself. In that, I guess you could say that it's mostly predictable, but with all that said, I thought it was a very enjoyable film, a very lighthearted movie, and just a great, a little good start to the Christmas season of 2021. So that is my review for 8-Bit Christmas. Before I give my final score, be sure to comment down below what were your thoughts on 8-Bit Christmas? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? We're right in between. Um, and what, just what are your thoughts on the movie? With that said, let's get on with my scores. Alright, so that's it for my scores. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My Instagram is Marvel6 and my TikTok is Rolling Fan. If guys don't understand those names, head to my bad section to follow me on all social medias. I'm also in Letterbox. It's the same name as Instagram. I've underscore six underscore. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.